Welcome into Sunday Sermon. Let's go to have this thing here. Okay. This thing here. Okay. Uh, Sunday Sermon is where we uh, uh, read from this little full of Junior's book, and uh, we being uh, me, T from the Patterson Technic, changed a bit. This is Mess Cody. Yes, he's eating walnuts. You know, walnuts are supposed to be good for you, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, so he's eating that. Me, I'm drinking coconut water, so. <sighs> Go figure. I would let him have some water. He probably needed it after. Don't worry about that part. Okay, uh, so I read from Miss Neely Fuller Jr.'s book. Uh, this is book. Uh, this is the original 1984 edition. It looked like this. It's a big format like that. And this the, uh, like I said, the uh, United Independent, um, uh, what am I reading here? Oh, yeah, uh, Compensatory Code System uh, uh, Concept. It's a textbook workbook um, for... Uh, thought, speech, and or action. action. Uh, it's uh, it's for victims of uh, racism, which Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. defines it as uh, white supremacy. So if you're not a victim, then turn the video off, go someplace else. It's just not for you. Uh, but like I said, this is a 1984 edition, the original, uh, that, uh, see here, uh, it produced it. Right, that's right. He started work on this in 1957 when he was a, a soldier in the Korean War. Uh, so anyway, so so this came out in 1984. And uh, in fact, he says uh, right here on the on the on the, I guess it's called the title page right there. Uh, it's a textbook work with thoughts besides I have white supremacy. Right. Uh, if you do not understand white supremacy, which is racism, what it is. And how it works, everything else you understand will only confuse you. Famous saying, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. Um, so we read uh, from this book every Sunday, uh, or at least we, well, we read from every Sunday. And we, well, let's let's just start. When I say we, what happens is, a, let's call it finished chewing on the walnuts. Yeah, that's he says he's done, but, you know, residuals, right? And uh, he's a, Okay, I believe you. He's a he's a uh, Tulsa speaker. Is he Tulsa culture? You you explain. What, he did what? his calls. Home calls and did his calls. Uh, we're in he southern. We're in southern Africa. He's in South Africa. Uh, southern. We're we're actually in a, in a Tulsa stronghold in the in the Dimbaza. So we're going to uh, today. We're going to go from again the original book. Uh, page 72, we're going to deal with education. Uh, we're just we're not going to be that long. It's going to be just this, uh, this section. I don't want to care. I, I and uh, it's, it's titled... Uh, now, the good thing about this, the, the, the original book, it's a large format, so I don't need my reading glasses. Yeah. But like I said, this original now he does have a, 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 a an edition that came out in uh, uh, twenty was it seventeen I think or whatever. Which is the revised edition? I have that too someplace yeah. like that. But also because there was a demand, they also reprinted. This yeah. original book, so you get those two books plus um, a word guide. Mm-hmm. See, the, the original book has a word guide at the end. But this one, he has a separate one for that. So, so if you go to the uh, the website uh, producejustice.com If you have a website, you produce.justice.com That would be a P-R-O-D-U-C-E Yeah, for that you message J-U-S-T-I-C-E Jeng message Dot com And Jeng message You'll learn all about Mr. Nelly Fuller uh, Jr.'s uh, works That's there so let us begin this Sunday sermon. 
<laughs> the headline is yeah. Practice making and keeping written notes of all possible useful ideas as swiftly as they come to mind. Record them under the nine distinct areas of activity. And Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. calls them the nine areas of human activity. And they are economics, education, in fact today we're, we're dealing with the education section, entertainment, uh, labor, law, politics, religion, Sex is a scene and war. Yes, it was. Now we're recording this in Lahote House. See, see, record a lendo queen to a mahote. In Lahote House, we uh, we deal with we only deal with eight of the eight of the sections. Pulling a queen to a mahote, see, Dilanese, see, pose of penalty. We don't deal with the sex section. I see, Dilanese, Nese, see, just like. Uh, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. comes every Tuesday on um, on the internet. And that program, it's a two-hour program. And they don't deal with the section of war. What they call war counter-war. For obvious reasons. Oh, but eventually we will deal with the section of war. Because in Lahote House, now we have the acolytes of liberation. Which, well, we'll talk about some other time. We don't deal with sex or the area of sex that's outlined in the book. Uh, because in the Kosa culture, uh, they have a thing called initiation with the young men. And, uh, and and that's up to the, the the uncles and the elders to deal with sex with that with that. But the hot house does not deal with sex. And so to continue, keep a reference file and or a listing of titles and authors. Of all publications. Which are or may be of basic value in helping to produce knowledge and understanding that can be used constructively. Read the writings of many writers and record essentials. Observe all that you can observe. 
and record essentials. So what he's saying is that you 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 can read and record essentials, but you also can hear like like you're listening to it now. Yeah. If something is essential to you, make a note of it. Yeah. Essential meaning essential to your fighting of racism, which is white supremacy. Observe all you can observe. And record essentials. Again, you see stuff in real life, you see stuff on TV or on the internet, make a note of it. Then, by utilizing the best of your knowledge and understanding, translate these essentials into codes for thought, speech, and or action for everyday use. I just want to note here, you, you go through several phases in life. Like, like uh, Masipoli here, he's younger than I am, I'm older. So my looking at something, I'm going to have a different understanding. Then he's going to have because he's younger than I. And I'm older than him and I've been around a lot of places. So I'm going to look at it a little differently. So my notes on the same observation is going to be different than his notes. And when he looks at his notes at another time, he might adjust because he'll be older, a little bit older, he'll make adjustments. Okay, back to the text here. Always seek the truth about all things, events, etc. Seek the source or source or sources of all information received or all information you, you noted. This is very important. Because you can't just go with somebody says. You need to research it for yourself or check their sources. With their interpretation of what they said to you, the way they said it, is true to the source material. Except nope, uh, and then then he goes on to say, seek the sources of all information received, as we said. Except no praise for yourself or anything that you have learned. You know, when somebody says, oh, what you said, that was deep. Oh, man, wow, you're really smart. But, eh. Now, you learned it, and you search the source material. That doesn't really make you smart. It just means that you learned it. 
You yeah. took notes and you took the source yeah. material. Lord, we are telling you, Kuma ufundi le wa amawe o panda ngayo. Lord, we go inzam do smart. God, we are telling you, Mama Combs. It don't mean that you, uh, you know, actually get all kinds of accolades and praises yeah. and all that stuff. Lord, we are telling you, ufundi le wa amawe Mama Combs. Can you believe? God, we are. But you can accept all challenges too, and or test of your knowledge and understanding. Or how you how you interpreted it, how how you how you got some constructive information out of it, somebody might challenge you. You should say, yeah, okay, let's let's look at this. Why? Because you this will help you to know and understand why you do whatever you do. And know and understand why you want to do whatever it is that you do. And Let's, let's, let's go over this last thing again. This yeah. is important to me. Okay. You have to, you, by being challenged, mm -hmm. it means that you have to really know and understand why you do whatever you do from getting this knowledge. Yeah. And this, of course, will make you to uh, to know and understand why you do what you do with whatever it is yeah. that you do from that understanding. So, Londo Equenza, we are Ziba, Utel, Funa, Quazil, and we are Zibuza, we are Again, this was the section of the one of the nine areas of human activity, and this is a section called education. Lena is Likandel, Lizem Fund, Lamakandel, my nine. We will continue these readings for you to, to, under, well, to understand the mind of Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. And hopefully that mind of this elder, because currently he's 93 years old. And he is still, he talks every Tuesday, as I said, on the internet. And you can tune in uh, or get it later as a download or from ProduceJustice.com. ProduceJustice.com. Mm -hmm. So that's it for us. Thank you, Mr. Spoli. Hey, Brother Stone. That was great.